Well, you know that face? He advocates causes and expresses opinions with a pen in one hand and a paper in another. Rob Torno of Newsworks is here. Actually, you don't use pen and paper anymore. It's all computer, right? No, no. You I do. do some, you do I some do. pen and paper. So work. anybody who wants to buy an original, I'm here. <laughs> the, 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 you have it inked out. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Well, this week in your cartoon, we're taking on what you dub taxpayer band band-aids handed out to uh, Delaware casinos right. in the form of uh, eight million dollars spread among the three casinos. Take us through how this is a, a band-aid for casinos so you don't think it's really a good idea. Right. Well, I, I don't know if it's a good idea. I know that the problem is larger than this eight million dollars with the casinos opening up in Maryland. Maryland, especially Maryland Live, um, it's just decimating casinos like Dover Downs that have, you know, been supported by all these people coming in from Maryland. Um, the issue is, you know, raising costs on slots, Delaware taxes on revenue. Um, it's a big issue, and it's not going to go away because there's just more casinos that keep opening. So. I just think all these things are band-aids. And we were talking earlier, it's sort of it's sort of the Sim City problem. Right. <laughs> you don't you don't build three casinos sort of right, right. on top of each other in in, in the game and. It, maybe oversaturated here in Delaware. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the problems with Atlantic City is that there are so many casinos in one place, they're not necessarily where people are. And the same thing's sort of happening now in Delaware. You know, people travel the 95 corridor, they go to the beach, but they're not necessarily in Dover. So if you have a casino that's more, you know, easy for them to get by or they drive by it to get to Dover, you're going to hurt your business. Uh, and let's change uh, change topics. Head on to football. The new NFL jerseys uh, for the fall season. Right. <laughs> uh, little, little pinstripes. Yeah, I mean the NFL has had a really big problem this season, off season, with um, arrests. You know, players getting arrested. The most being Hernandez. You know, right. arrested for murder. Um, I don't know how they stem this. You know, it's obviously it, it ebbs and flows, but you know, it's a real big issue when you have these multi-million dollar contracts being dished out to people who, you know do these sorts of things. It's a big publicity problem, I think, for them. Yeah, it's a black eye for the NFL for sure. All right, thanks, Rob. He is Rob Torno, our resident cartoonist at newsworks.org slash Delaware. You can find him battling Chris Christie sometimes on the New Jersey page as well. You can check him out there. You can also follow him on Twitter at Rob Torno.